this is a fat girl's bible and my name is abby bible so it's been a hot minute since i uploaded a video it's been three weeks to be exact i've just been busy with traveling back to georgia from la and moving in and then started classes and then i fractured my foot a few days ago yay so now i'm going to wear a beautiful medical boot for two months i'm super stoked about it But we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. It's gonna be a super cute new accessory and y'all are gonna love it because you don't have an option. You get to look at it for two months. Yeah! I mean, it was bad for me to happen because like I live on the third floor of my apartment building with no elevator and then my apartment has two floors in it. So stairs are a huge part of my life. So it was bad for me to fall down them and do something stupid. So now it's happened. So yeah, really, really stoked about it. But I promise you, I'm gonna get back to creating videos every week. It's gonna be great, I'm committed, we're gonna do this. Let's go. So my mom is a huge, huge fan of Lucky Brand. It's like one of her go-to shopping places and she loves to buy stuff for herself there. I buy stuff for her there. And one time I was shopping with her and I was wondering, do they offer plus sizes? They didn't have anything in store, but when I looked online, they actually had a pretty decent plus size section. They sell up to a 3X uh, in like regular clothes, and then in jeans, they go up to size 24. So I thought that was a pretty good size range, and I fit right at the end there, so I definitely wanted to try out some things for you. It's not my personal style, not my personal go-to style at least. Some of the pieces I actually really like and may end up keeping, but we shall see. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to try out some products for you, and I'm excited to show you what I got. So keep on watching. So for this haul, I got two two shirts, two different pairs of jeans, a dress, and a really cool denim jacket. So I thought we should start off with some of the shirts that I grabbed. This is a really cool striped shirt that I was able to pick up. It's pretty like I don't, I don't want to say oversized, but it's definitely not very like form fitting. It's a super soft fabric, and I love the ruffly sleeves. And I'm just a sucker for stripes. I'll always love products with stripes on it and polka dots as you can tell but it's a really just casual comfy shirt that I think I need in my closet because I don't really have a lot of just easy throw on shirts right out the door so I definitely think that this is one of my go-to tops from now on because it's just easy and comfortable so breathable and like the ruffles just add a little bit of a fun feminine touch so the next shirt that I was able to pick up is this really really cool floral super flowy like transparent not transparent but sheer shirt and uh my mom actually picked, tried it on in the store and we both really really loved it on the rack we love like the different florals and then we loved like how flowy just easy breezy it looked but unfortunately i didn't really like it on her and she didn't really like it on her and then i saw a lot of plus size i was like oh i should try that on I didn't like it on me. It's just, it's just super backy and sheer and floral and just, there's a lot going on and none of it's really complimenting me. So, I mean, if you're, it's like the boho style, this is probably for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, it just wasn't personally for me, which is a shame. And then, oh, by the way, I got these all in 3X. All the tops I got were in 3X and then the pants I got in 24. Just saying now. But yeah, sadly it didn't work for me. I really love floral, but ugh, just not my pal. So the dress that I was able to pick up is this really cool stripe shirt dress. It's a little bit wrinkly, so don't judge me. But I actually really, really loved it on. It has a couple little tie to sit yourself and a slip underneath, a cotton slip, just because it is a little bit sheer and if you don't wear the right garments with it, your underwear bra are be very visible, <laughs> which I personally don't care about, but for this, you don't really want to see it. But yeah, I think it's really just comfortable. It's like this nice kind of, I don't want to say linen, but like a linen cotton fabric. And so it's just comfortable. I like that it has all the buttons, but it has a little cover for it if you don't, so you don't see the buttons. And then it's just like a smooth line down it. And it's just really easy. Like it has a nice little slit up the side, which I thought were fun. They're not too high, but like it adds a little something to it. It's definitely one of my like favorite pieces out that I was able to grab because it's just easy to throw on. You know what I mean? I need more products like that that are just easy to throw on and go out the door. And I think Lucky Brand is really good at that because that's just kind of the lifestyle that I think their customer lives. 
It's not that bad at it. I may actually end up keeping this one because it's really comfy and I got it in a 3X, just like I said again. It was a little bit pricey, but I got it on sale, so it wasn't too pricey for me. <laughs> a lot of their items are definitely a little bit higher in the price range. I mean, they're good quality, they last a while. My mom absolutely loves them. But I think just for me, for easy pieces, I'm gonna go to them, but I definitely wanna get them for clearance because I'm not that dedicated to buy them rest. Whoops, a daisy. The next item I grabbed is this really cool denim jacket. I preferred it online. <laughs> it still has the little tag on it because I'm gonna return it. Ooh, don't judge me. But basically it's called like the trucker jacket and this is, this is a one of a kind creation inspired by pre-loved denim. So I thought that was really cool is that all of this denim is denim from like previous jeans or whatever that they deconstructed and created into a jacket, which I thought was really great. Like sustainable fashion is so important these days. So reusing and recycling products is a very strategic move and definitely fits the lucky brand customer. So I definitely really loved it online. I loved it on the bottle. I I didn't love it on myself. I'm just not huge into denim jackets personally. I have like one, which is kind of like I just throw on if I get chilly or whatever. But I don't know. I really wish that I was edgy enough or cool enough to rock this look. I mean, it doesn't look bad necessarily. I just don't think that I'd want to spend hundred dollars on a jacket that I'm not like super passionate about. You know what I mean? But like, I love the style of it. I love that it's reused denim. It's just not for me, I think, you know, you know, it's cute though. That sadly didn't work for me. It fit just fine. I got it in a 3X and I didn't really have any fit problems. Like, cause sometimes like things can be too, too tight in my arms, but this really wasn't that bad. I'm not mad about it. So as I said, I was able to pick up two pairs of jeans that I actually really, really liked, but feel a bit about. So the first pair of jeans that I was able to pick up are these, what are they called? Emma boot cut jeans. So I've never really been a huge fan of boot cut jeans, but a lot of people say that like boot cuts are great for curvy girls because it balances out your waist and butt and everything. I personally think it's bull crap. I don't really care about how it's flattery or whatever, but that's a whole other conversation. But anyways. So these are the Emma Book Cup jeans I got. Like I said, I got them in a size 24. They're actually like really, really comfortable. Like the fabric has a decent amount of stretch, but obviously I think it will stretch over time once you wear them. And like I, like I said, I like high-waisted, and these are pretty darn high-waisted. I wish they were just a little bit more high-waisted, but I mean, I'm very picky about that, so I can't say I'm really lucky brand for that. I never really like jeans that go right up to their titties. Titties, I always said that's so weird. Interesting, but. I really liked these, I just, I'm not a boot cut person, you know, so I don't know if I can keep these or wear them. It's just not really my personal style aesthetic. But, oh gosh, I have the hiccups today, y'all. But if you are into like that boot cut life, I highly recommend these. These are really comfortable and just easy. I mean, who doesn't want a great pair of jeans? Uh, something, although, was that they fit me in the, way, in the butt really nice, but they were really big in the waist. And that made me really, really sad. They were definitely had a little bit of room up there. And I mean, if you don't have as dramatic as a ratio to waist to butt ratio, you won't have this issue. My issue is that I literally have a 20 inch difference to my waist and my butt. So that's my problem with jeans. No matter what, it's always a struggle. No matter what. I'm on the hunt for my perfect pair of jeans. I haven't found them yet, but I'm trying y'all. I'm really, I'm trying. But yeah, these, not bad. They're pretty good. They're comfy. They're a uh, great material. They definitely have a little bit of stretch to them. The color is nice. The rise is pretty nice. So I would really highly suggest these if you're into the boot cut style. Yay. Lucky brand. The last item I got and the last pair of jeans that I got are these really cool skinny jeans. So I'm definitely a huge fan of skinny jeans, which is funny because I've always heard people say like, just by wearing skinny jeans, does it make you look skinnier? That's the prize. Maybe I don't want to look skinnier, so ha 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 ha, suckers. But anyways, I really like these. These were good, y'all. I'm not mad. They actually, which I thought was funny, was that, oh, well, by the way, these are called, hold on, hold that story, hold that story. These are called the hated skinnies, by the way. But, as I say, what I thought was funny was that these are the same size as the other boot cut jeans, size 24, but they're not nearly as really 
and the waist, which I thought was really, really surprising. I was expecting that to be as extra fabric up there as the other, uh, other pair of jeans, but they really weren't. These fit pretty darn nicely. The only problem is they were a little bit tight in the knees, but I think that over time they'd probably stretch out a little bit more and relax. So I kind of want to give these a try and keep them and see how I go because these may be my favorite jeans I found so far. They're definitely not my perfect jeans because I wish they were a little bit higher in the, in the uh, rise and a little bit looser around the knees, but honestly, these are the best that I found so far. They're stretchy, they're comfortable, they're, you know, just a really nice pair of skinny jeans. There's nothing bad about them, and I loved that there wasn't a lot, a lot, a lot of extra room at the waist. It was really, it was honestly the best jeans I found so far. So yeah, these are called the Hated Jeans, remember that? And then my favorite part about Lucky brand jeans is that they say, Lucky you, on the zipper part. That is so funny. I, I mean, I think it's supposed to be like, oh, lucky you, you get to wear lucky brand jeans. But to me, I just really want to be like, zip unzip my pants, but lucky you, you don't get in my pants because I'm dirty. But that's fine. So yeah, I really like these. They're really fun. I just think lucky brand's kind of fun. Oh, it says, hey, this is getting inside too. It's that way you remember for the future. Handy, I like that. But yeah, I think these are actually my favorite pairs of jeans so far, which is a big surprise, y'all. So those were all the pieces that I was able to pick up. My favorite, the pieces are definitely the striped top, the striped dress, and the skinny jeans. They were all very comfortable, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Sorry, that's, that's always what I think when I think of easy breezy. I always think of easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Uh, their marketing really worked on me. Uh, good job. But anyways, uh, those were the pieces that I really liked. They're just kind of those pieces that you throw on when you gotta run out the door or you're just going to go do something easy with friends or run errands or yada, yada, yada. like they're, they're just very comfortable and like reliable pieces and I think that that's what Lucky Brand is really trying to market to everyone. So I'm proud of them for having plus sizes. Honestly, like whenever I have a company that has plus sizes, I'm immediately like, good job. Great, great job. You're actually being a good company. But the, who doesn't actually actually care about the plus size? But I'm really excited to see how I do more marketing campaigns with actual plus size women and then hopefully, you know, actually carry plus size in store because I'd like to shop with my mom. That'd be fun to do because she's a pretty lady. I love her. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Next week, I may review some Bay Well products. We shall see. I'm on the perfect hunt. I'm on the hunt for perfect denim. So they always say they make great bit denim. So now we're going to put it to the test. I'm excited. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll do all that jazz. And have a great one. Thanks y'all, bye.